just uh, landed. We're on some island and it looks like Janissa found a friend already. Quite a few visitors. The usual. The usual. <laughs> Hi. Look at this view. Hi. Sonia, no worries. Oh, thank you. I've never seen one. What is it's it? A, it's an Icon aircraft, Icon A5. It's a light sport amphibious airplane. Okay. Um, so you fly it in the air? It goes yeah. In the water yeah, so you can land it on a runway or in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Your seatbelt's on? Belt's on? All right. So we're actually going to go around to the other side of the island to take off. Okay. So these, because uh, all these boats are probably going to come out and we can't get caught in their wake. So water rudder's up. Gears up. Flaps are up right now, which is fine. Canopy is locked. So we're just going to kind of head over this way a little bit. Actually, kind of feels nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're getting all the water. I know. <laughs> what the hell? I got to do one more little plow turn here. Get over on the other side. Hold on. A little bit more distance from the island. You have my phone, right? It's over there. Okay. There. All right. So it's gonna, this is going to be a rough water takeoff because the, all these boats and everything. So okay. we're going to take off straight ahead. South. All right, so uh, gears up. I'm going to put my flaps all the way down. I am totally soaked, so. <laughs> and here we go. All right. That flaps down, build pump off, water rudders up. And can it be as we are good. So I'm essentially doing a soft field takeoff. I'm trying to force it off the water a little bit sooner. Okay. And then I'm going to stay inside ground effect. Okay. Until I get the proper airspeed. Woo! Woo! Nice. Suck. I'm tired now. All right. I don't know how to help you. I was no, like, uh, it's I don't know what I should be doing. Yeah, it, if, you're not, if you're not a seaplane pilot, I would say just let the the only seaplane. It's it's better for one seaplane pilot than one yeah. seaplane pilot and four people that don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Traffic Icon 40 Bravo Alpha is on a left base for Miami Seaplane Base, landing east, Watson Island. Like, it feels <laughs> surreal. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to stay about 500 feet above these roads, but I got to also start slowing down. Okay. So I'm bringing the power back, and then I'm going to drop the flaps. I can start slowing down. altitude until I get over these bridges and then I'm going to cut the power and then we'll land. We'll be landing with a little bit of a crosswind. So 
So gears up, flaps down, water rudder is up before landing checklist complete. Put the gear down. And the gear is down and locked. First of all, this is by far the coolest thing I've ever done. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I want to hear what your story is because I know this is going to inspire a lot of people out there on YouTube, on sure. Instagram, <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Um, to go out after their dreams, whether it's flying or whatever it is. So I want to hear what your sure. story is. All right. Um, so I was in the Navy for a little bit, uh, about four years. I spent out in Guam, and I actually mm -hmm. uh, maintained uh, submarines out there for about wow. four years. So wow. it was quite submarines. Yeah, That's it, cool. was, uh, it was a big difference. I was a communications electrician out there. Um, it was a lot of fun. I loved it. Uh, when I got out of the Navy, I started mm -hmm. actually going to school for IT, and um, I was bored out of my mind. I got a desk job sitting there, and um, I just wanted to do something totally different. So I went out on a discovery flight mm -hmm. um, out of Clearwater International Airport, okay. and. Um, and then I was like, this is cool. And this, this is what, this is, this is, this is cool. Cool. So I was like, this is what I want to do. And I literally, within a month, um, I had quit my job, packed up my apartment, uh, and moved all the way back down to Miami. And I did all of my flight training down in Miami. Um, zero to hero and in a, in a degree in about a year and two months wow. I did. Um, and then I started flight instructing. Um, I did a lot of independent flight instructing for a while. And then I actually started working towards my AP license. And I was doing that for about uh, two years, and I was uh, managing a maintenance shop out of Winter Haven. Mm -hmm. After that, I started doing contract um, co contract uh, pilot stuff, and I was flying mm -hmm. at King Air 350. I was slowly getting the world of corporate flying. And then um, Icon approached me, and they okay. um, actually did an interview with Flying Magazine. Okay. And um, they saw my video and actually reached out to me to come in for an interview just for an instructor pilot position. And then I came nice. in, and I thought it was fun, so I took the job. Well, if I ever end up flying Icon, yeah, you'll know where it started. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I can it. definitely make time. Yeah, let's just put you it that should. way. It's uh, yeah. the most fun I've ha ever had in the airplane. Yeah, so. it's really fun. I think it was just that you feel like you're in the air, but then you're in the water, and then yeah, there's, there's a the lot sky, going on. and there's no windows. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is pretty awesome. Cool. Well, glad you had fun. She's pretty awesome. <laughs> go follow her her YouTube. I'll put a link uh, in the comments. Yeah. And Go follow her. She's gonna have amazing adventures and amazing videos. I'm gonna try. <laughs>
what, what? A ballistic parachute. So if um, you have any kind of issues um, and you're over a city or you can't control the aircraft, you can pull the parachute and it deploys. So we used to go to the city? Yeah.